going to have interest. There's no question about that. I expect it to be posted probably around the end of the month. It's always a nerve-wracking experience for teams because you, you have the posting fee plus whatever the contract is. But uh, if, if you strike it right on one of those guys, it's a gold mine. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Much like Masahiro Tanaka two off seasons ago, another star pitcher from the Japanese leagues could be on his way to the majors if he gets his wish. According to reports, right-hander Kenta Maeda has requested that his current ball club in Hiroshima make him available to major league clubs via the posting system. The 27-year-old has won 97 games since the 2008 season with a sparkling 2.39 ERA, twice winning the equivalent of the Cy Young Award in that span. MLB.com's Anthony Kastrovitz believes that there would be significant interest from major league clubs if the posting process goes through. Probably the most important element. He's 27 years old. He'll still, he'll still be 27 on opening day. Hey, everybody talk about Jason Hayward and, and Justin Upton in the free agent market, uh, how rare it is to, to get a player. So in his prime years, or his prime years still ahead of him, and it's definitely rare from a pitching standpoint as well. So certainly very successful, very durable, and still pretty young. According to reports, the Pod Rays are expected to hire Mark McGuire as their new bench coach. McGuire has been the Dodgers hitting coach for the past three seasons after serving in that same capacity for the Cardinals between 2010 and 2012. He would fill the position vacated by Dave Roberts, who's been hired as the Dodgers' new manager. The former slugger's contract with the Dodgers expired at the end of October. The LA Angels have come to terms with veteran catcher Giovanni Soto on a one-year contract. The 32-year-old spent the 2015 season with the White Sox, hitting 219 in 78 games and throwing out 30% of would-be base dealers. Soto is a former NL Rookie of the Year with the Cubs back in 2008. Tuesday was a special day at the White House for Willie Mays and the family of the late Yogi Berra. The two baseball icons were bestowed with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor an individual can receive in the United States. On behalf of his late father, Larry Berra accepted the medal for the former Yankee great. The Hall of Famers combined to play in 42 All-Star games during their illustrious careers and won a combined five MVP awards. One thing we know for sure, if you can't imitate them, don't copy them. <laughs> for more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.